In this video, I want to show you that from the definition of the entropy, as defined previously, we can derive the ideal gas law. In particular, we found that the entropy S can be written as energy divided by temperature plus the Boltzmann constant that I can call Kb. And if you go back and check the previous videos, this was called 2K. And this was just the definition by Einstein, but it is not really important. It is the same constant. There is just a different factor. Then we have the logarithm of integral e to the minus. Here we can rewrite this as energy divided by Boltzmann constant multiplied by temperature. And then we integrate over dp1 dot 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 dpn, which are the n variables related to phase space. Sometimes you might have a different notation. For example, you might have different uh, coordinates for um, positions that you can call q1, ql, and then you have other l coordinates for momenta, dp1 dot 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 dpl. But as I said, this is just a definition. What's really important here is the expression for the energy. In the case of an ideal gas, by definition, the interactions are negligible. So the energy for an ideal gas can be written as a summation of several energies, the energies of each single particle. If we have n particles, the summations that we have to perform are 3n, because we have three components of momentum for each particle. So we have pj squared divided by 2 m, we assume that the masses of the particles are exactly the same, and then we sum over all the degrees of freedom, which are 3n. And if you use the formula for the energy here, in the entropy, we get S equal to, here we have energy over temperature, I'm really interested in inserting this expression here, plus K Boltzmann natural logarithm, and here we have integral of e to the minus p squared divided by 2m k Boltzmann temperature and we have to integrate over dp and this is raised to the power of 3n because the integrals that we have here, the multiple integrals can be factored and they multiply each other because we have three times n independent integrals. And then we also have the integral over the positions because we also have a similar integral for positions. We have integral over d 3n x. Let me call it like this, right? d 3n x. But what is this? We can also rewrite this as integral d 3x to the power n because we have n particles and we have to integrate over the volumes. So this is just the volume to the power n. We are integrating over the space occupied by each single particle and each single particle will move in some kind of volume. And due to symmetry, we just have n times of those volumes, therefore v to the power n. And now we just have to carry out the integral for momentum, which is very easy to carry out. In this case, we have to integrate from minus infinity to plus infinity. And this is just a Gaussian integral where the variance is this thing here in the denominator, mkb times t. So the result of that integral is square root of 2 pi. And then inside the square root, we have mkb temperature. Therefore, we can rewrite the entropy like this, energy divided by temperature plus K Boltzmann logarithm of 2 pi m k b temperature to the power 3n over 2. And then this multiplies the volume to the power n. This expression is the more accurate, the closer this gas is to being an ideal one. Now the differential of the energy can be written as heat, which we can write as TDS. And then we have energy due to, for example, the compression of the gas, which we can write as minus P, 
which represents in this case the pressure of the gas multiplied by the differential of the volume of the gas. If the volume of the gas decreases, it means that the gas is being compressed and therefore the energy will increase, the E will be greater than zero. From this, we can derive the derivative of the entropy with respect to volume by keeping the energy constant and from this you get that this is just equal to pressure divided by temperature. Now we can take the derivative of the entropy with respect to volume by using this expression here. From this expression and from the properties of logarithms, we can rewrite this as ds over dv, keeping E constant equal to K Boltzmann derivative with respect to volume of the logarithm of v to the power n because this is just a constant with respect to the volume and the logarithm of this multiplied by this is just the sum of the two logarithms so the first part gives no contribution we only have the contribution given by this one and this gives us k boltzmann n v to the power n minus 1 divided by v to the power n. So this is just k Boltzmann n over v, but this also equals p over t, from which we get pressure times volume equal k Boltzmann number of particles multiplied by temperature. And this is just the ideal gas law which can be written sometimes in other forms because the number of particles can also be written as the Avogadro number, Na, multiplied by the number of moles of the gas, lowercase n, for example. But Na times Kb, Boltzmann constant, is just equal to what we usually call R, which is the ideal gas constant. So P times V can also be written as number of moles times R times T, which is another way of rewriting this.